Third down and six, ball at the 27. Hernandez under center, takes the snap, rolls to his left. Again, looking to the end zone for the game winner. Touchdown! Wow, what a catch. I got to admit it. Aaron Solomon comes up with the reception. A 27-yard touchdown grab that could be the game winner here tonight. Six, but let's see what happens now. Drake Jesuit to the left side. He'll get to the end zone. Touchdown, Crusaders! They ran a trick play there where they only had three offensive linemen. So two of the receivers or two of the men that were split out were not eligible receivers. They were blockers. Can we take another look at that? Let's, here it is here. They'll throw immediately to the left side. You could see two linemen there as blockers on that, I, I guess you could call it a bubble screen to Charbonnet, and he gets into the end zone, and a timeout taken. There's one second to play here. They're still down by one. We're still waiting on the extra point. They are putting the kicking unit on the field here. No, I beg your pardon. They're going to try to win the football game here by going for two. The quarterback is Zubia. Has Josh Reese to his left as the running back. Crusaders going for the win. Zubia, the snap. Fires towards the end zone. It is caught! Caught! The two-point conversion! The, the Crusaders, Crusaders win! The Crusaders take the lead, 50 to 49, with one second to play here. What an incredible comeback by straight Jesuit College Preparatory. Incredible. And the Morton Ranch sideline, the Morton Ranch Stadium and the fans here are stunned. Coming back from 21 points down and on the, what ends up being the final play on a two point conversion. Straight Jesuit beats the Mavericks of Morton Ranch 50 to 49. And I can't think of a more exciting end to a football game.